What makes the Turkish Navy so powerful? This is thanks to the rapid development of the country's defense industry. In fact, the Turkish defense industry is now attracting more and more attention from the international community. Among the frigates, the G-Class is the most numerous. They are extensively modernized versions of the ex Oliver Harshad Perry class guided missile frigates of the US Navy, mainly designed for our advance with a weapons configuration that is optimized for our general warfare. And Turkey's G class frigates were acquired from the United States around the 1990s. The former Oliver Hazard Perry class. The vessels have been in service with the Turkish Navy since 1997 and are still active to this day. G class has a full displacement of approximately 4,100 tons, a length of 135.6 meters, a beam of 13.7 meters, and a draft of 6.7 meters. Power for the class is derived from twin General Electric LM2530 type gas power turbines delivering up to 41,000 shaft horsepower to a single shaft. Maximum speed can be achieved up to 30 knots, range is 5,000 nautical miles at 80 knots. Sensors applicably include both sonar and radar systems that include an SQS-56 system and an SQR-19 tall sonar array along with ANSPS-49 and ANSPS-55 radar systems. The G-Class frigates have undergone a major modernization program which included the interfitting of a Turkish digital combat management system named Genesis. The system was designed and implemented jointly by the Turkish Navy and Harverson, a Turkish electronic hardware systems and software company. The modernization program also includes the addition of an HCR Mark 41 vertical load system for Evo Sea Sparrow including the upgrade of the Mark 92 fire control system by Larkin Martin, the retrofitting of a new advanced Smart S Mark II 3D air search radar to replace ANSPS 49. The ship also added a new long range sonar. The frigates that are currently being operated by the Turkish Navy were modified with a seized landing platform system at the Istanbul Denver shipyard so that they can accommodate the S-70 B Seahawk helicopter. The ship's main armament includes 32 Evo C Sparrow missiles launched from Mark 41 vertical launch system two cheaper Mark 32 anti-submarine warfare torpedo tubes with Mark 46 or Mark 50 anti-submarine warfare torpedoes. Her anti-ship weapon is eight harpoon surface-to-surface missiles. Also included are 40 SM-1MR surface-to-air missiles, one Mark 15 flank closing weapon system, and one Automalora 76mm DP gun. The ship is supported by an S-70B Seahawk or AB-212 helicopter. It was expected that the four ships that did not receive upgrade will be decommissioned by 2025, while the remaining four ships will be decommissioned by 2030.